hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video shows you how to make jollof fries in the oven yes you do not even need to first boil the meat or even boil the rice i usually do this when i have to multitask like i have to leave what i'm doing to do something else and it comes out very nice tasty and the meat very soft and even falling off the bones so for this recipe i used one kilo turkey wings two onion bulbs, 15 grams ginger, three cubes maggi seasoning, three gra 300 grams tomato paste, one teaspoon full of curry, one tablespoon full of thyme, three tablespoons full of vegetable oil, two cups basmati rice and salt to taste. So I'm just going to go ahead to dice the onions and the ginger and I'm going to go ahead to use my teacup to crush the ginger manually. It's actually better if you use a blender because it brings out a nice smooth paste. So, but that doesn't matter to me now because I'm really in a hurry to get this ready. So after that, I'm just going to add all the ingredients together. There is no rocket science about this guys. You just have to add all the ingredients together there is no particular ingredient that you have to add first after that I'm going to wash my rice in warm water and just add it directly to this mixture and make sure you mix it well to incorporate everything okay then the next thing we're going to do is to add enough water just enough water to cover the mixture and the meat and also bring it to cook please do not forget to taste the mixture for salt i'm just going to add a little more salt to taste then lastly i'm going to add the vegetable oil you could also leave out the vegetable oil because the meat also brings out some oil when it's cooked you can add bay leaves curry leaves or parsley leaves to it to add more flavor i'm just going to add parsley leaves because that's what i have at home so after that just cover the pot and put in a preheated oven turn your oven to the highest mark until it starts boiling and then you turn turn it a little bit um lower i don't know how to explain it but my gas mark is 275 that is the highest and first I turn usually turn it to 275 and then when it starts boiling I bring it down to 250 and sometimes sometimes 220 to allow it to boil slowly or to cook slowly I actually brought out the rice about two times to check and to add more water you could also bring it out to check and to add more water because you also have to check whether the rice is soft or whether you need to add more water sometimes you could also add some other ingredients that you like on just cook until the meat is soft and the water is dry and your rice smells so nice okay <laughs> i like this method for three reasons it's tasty it's easy and the meat is so so soft please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video feel free to share it if you know anybody that wants to learn how to cook jello fries very very fast thank you for watching my video and make sure you come back here i will have new videos posted every week for you okay look at that jello fry it looks so good my friends so i'll just say bye and Keep watching and subscribe.